What? It's in the Jewelry Box. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, Jancy, how are you guys? Do you hear me? Yeah, of course, you hear me. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ever. Is your camera okay? Oh, no, I'm not using you either. I'm, I'm not at home, so I can okay. turn around the camera. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I understand. And Susanna, I know she's sick Hi, right now, and she's just listening right now. Hi, Tanya. How are you? I couldn't hear. I'm going to you say my name. Oh. <laughs> hey, don't be jealous, Brandy. <laughs> no, 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 no! I just I couldn't hear. I don't know what happened here. No, no, no! It's it's just like I was saying hello to everyone, and I was thanking everybody too. Well, you will have for a being party. here. Sorry. We will have a party tonight. No, I it's have a date. Day. I have a uh, an appointment tomorrow. Oh. So. No, mm -hmm. I wish I could, <laughs> because tomorrow <laughs> is my birthday, so, yeah, I should have a party tonight, but no, I have to work. Where are we going to go? I'm going to be at my home with what? my family. <laughs> I actually yeah. spent all my weekend with my, with my daughter, but, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I wish I wish I would be celebrating, but no, I'm not. Okay. You're the she, she, uh, she's the teacher. She's the teacher. That's right. Oh. oh, your husband is there. Oh, how you know? <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I know. Normally, you're alone. You're by yourself, and now I hear. Um, I hear a male voice so <laughs> that's what i suppose <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's good so you're happy you're happy you're happy and there ever actually guys we're going to see we're going to review or study i know that you have probably studied this before how to make comparisons how to make comparisons like this is better than this or brandy is happier than another days so yeah come on don't say that <laughs> hey how are you Ernesto I'm good how are oh, you good I'm fine I'm fine I'm a little hot but yeah I'm fine guys remember some of you haven't finished the exercises from the uh, section two so that's what we're going to do today. Remember, we should have finished this lesson um, by Friday. Well, by Thursday last week. But unfortunately, you know, I couldn't finish my class on Monday. So that's why uh, we are going to do this like the fourth class. So this is the last. Um, this is like the last day of the week. All right. But we're going to continue with the comparisons. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not here. Let me go back. We are going to solve the exercises that are pending. And um, Vanessa, are you still there? Sullivan, are you just listening today or what? Yes, give me three minutes. No problem. No problem. I understand. Hello. Yeah, hi, Sullivan. Nice to see you. Nice, nice to see you too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. How was, how was your weekend? Very heavy. I had too many things to do in my home, so it was heavy. I know, I know. I know the I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Hey, okay. Vanessa, thank you for turning on the camera. And welcome, guys. So okay. we're going to finish this, and I'm not sure why I'm having this error. 
I saw, okay. Yeah, Susana, don't worry. I know you're sick. So I know you're, you'll not turn on the camera and that's it. No problem. So we were doing the... Let me share the screen, okay? Let me know if you can hear. Just a second. So last part, we were listening to this when uh, we were using, I like it when, I don't like it then, when this happens, you know this. So we're going to do the knowledge check, okay? I know many of you did this exercise already, right? Yeah, how do you feel about these situations, okay? So I need a volunteer to read, all right? Can you help me? Sure, ah. can I help you? Sure, Sylvan. I I really appreciate it. Go, uh, let me make it bigger. Okay. Go. Which one? Sorry, the uh the the instructions. Uh, no. I mean this this paragraph. This is like okay. an introduction about uh the topic or the questions that are next. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this situation? Make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. You may use "I love it when." I can't stand it when, it makes me happy when, it bothers me when, it embarrasses me when, it really upset me when, I don't like it when, it doesn't bother me when, mm -hmm. I don't mind it mean, I don't mind it mean when, and then finish your sentences. Okay. So, so, so I, here is the first one. All right. So, uh, Sullivan, I just want to mention something. Okay. You say, I can stand it. I can stand it. All right. I can stand it. When? Okay. Um, you don't see an E here. So, you just pronounce it like, I can stand it. Okay. No lo soporto. No soporto cuando. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you always right. mention this after the verb. I can stand it. It makes me happy when, it bothers me when, it bothers me. Mm, I don't like it. Aquí también. I don't like it. Hacemos un, okay. una pronunciación, like, corridita. All right? Once. Perfect. All right? It doesn't bother me when. I, I don't mind it when. Okay, I don't mind it when. So, those expressions mean... Uh, the expression means actually when you want to say that something you like or you dislike. So, I don't mind. It's like in, in the middle, right? You don't hate it. You don't like it. But you're in the middle. Okay? And, okay, what happens when someone gives a compliment to you about your clothes? What would be an answer? An answer, it would be, I love it uh, when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. All right. Thank you. Let me write it and then we can correct it. All right. I love it when, when someone, someone gives me gives me someone gives me remember third person yes gives me a compliment on my clothes all right on oh, my clothes all right let's do it here what about the second number two sorry teacher it's missing period oh really all right, well, I haven't done it 
by myself so you Don't know but you know you know for sure that it's a period missing most of the time yes you will need a period guys so next time don't be asking on the chat, right? Hey, what's what's the error here? So we will check it later in a moment. So you will know that sometimes it's necessary a period. Thank you, Sullivan. Thank you. Number two, guys. You're welcome. I love it when people are dear and say what's on their mind. I like it. When I love it, I love it. You can also say like it, but yeah, we okay, can okay. we can change it for for love it. I love it, but remember, I love it. Me encanta. It you just don't say I love. You just say I love it. Me encanta. Okay. I love it when when people. Uh -huh. Are direct when are direct, you can say direct, direct or direct. Yeah, direct. yeah, me too. Are direct and say what's under the what's on the mind. Okay, can you tell me the complete answer, please? Um, I love it when people are direct and say direct or direct. Uh, can I say it both the world in both way, right? Direct. Okay, continue. Okay. Are direct and say what's on their mind. Just copy this. And we can cop uh, copy and paste it. Direct. You can say direct or direct. Okay. What about number three, guys? I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't. What? Hey, guys, remember, what other expressions can you say instead of don't like? I can stand it. Exactly. I can't stand. I can that means what is the meaning of can stand? Stand it. No soporto. In, in English, in English, Jonathan. Um, I will say in Spanish, no soporto, pero no, I... in English. You can say that in English too, right? Roberto, what do you think? Uh, I bother. It bothers me. It bothers me. Me molesta. It bothers me. Okay. We can say that. All right. So we can say it bothers me when. Also, we can say it really upsets me. It when... really upsets me. Exactly, Ernesto. Super. Remember, there are several options. There's not only one option. You can, you can uh, place whatever you want related to the other um, expressions, as you say here, I can stand, right? That can stand is the opposite um, when you like it. Makes me happy, you see, that's another option. It bars me, embarrasses me, upsets me, as you said, etc. okay? Oh, it bothers me when, and you just copy this. When people call me late, Okay, when people call me late at night, okay? Nice, next. Let's do the number four. I love it. It makes me happy. Okay, it makes me happy. Then you, you, you put the S there, okay? It makes me happy. When a friend pressed me to dinner. All right. We can place the period as well, just in case. Let's see if there is any other correction. Okay, so what should we change here, guys? 
Is there any mistake in um the first letter? The first, first letter, capital letter, maybe? Capital no. letter. When. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Sorry, when. French. Thank you. You see, this is the mistake that you will probably see uh, when you are um, answering or putting the answer here. So it, I love it when people are Mm -hmm. What do you think? There's some mistakes. There's someone who already answered um, those questions. I it could be one is I love it when a friend treats me to dinner. No, no, no. no. This is a mistake. In the second one, I think. And say, uh, and you miss the, the word and. And say, are direct and say. All right, thank you. All right, next, what is the other mistake, guys? There is a double when. Thank you. Let's see. Hmm. Teacher, you have a problem with the browser. That's what I think. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. If you re refresh, maybe. All right. All right. Um, I love it when people are. Let's see. What's the mistake here? And, and say and say right. And, and say, yeah. say thank you. Yeah. And say and uh, what about this? Double when. Double when. Oh yeah. Double. Yeah. Okay. And the capital letter. Capital letter in the number. At the beginning. Okay. It, no. Yeah. And the next one. What's the mistake here? And you miss uh, when. It makes makes me. Makes me happy. When. At uh, the beginning, it makes me. Happy when. Oh, all right, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's, that's a mistake with the, with my browser. Not browser, it's the server. <laughs> yeah. You have the same. Did you have the same problem? I have, this, I have the same problem too. Okay. All with right, what I'm gonna do is like, um, I'm... Well, you you already know the answer, guys, and that's probably uh, not my internet because I see my internet is good. Uh, I'm not using my data right now, but yeah, Jonathan, is there um, something that we need to check? To check. Um, I'm pretty sure it is the platform because it's not working. Uh, yeah. I, I have issues. <laughs> okay. So if we continue with the same issue, I uh, will have to send you the answers by WhatsApp so you can write them correctly because the answers, you know, they're good. Um, I will tell you the possible answers. Uh, well, in the first one, you already know. So you can copy this, this copy, this answer. Okay, this is number one. Yeah, but it doesn't show if it's not correct or in uh, or correct, right? So I guess yeah, that's a problem with the um, with browser or the platform, not that no browser platform. So number two, I love when people I direct and say, if "What's, you, what's you, in your mind?" You 
if you want teacher i can take a, a screen and i can send to the group i will appreciate it please brandy because yeah i know you have answered those um exercises already so yeah please do it yes. i appreciate it maybe if we continue with the next uh, you're going to uh, maybe the platform works better this was basically just a reading all right i guess you have you have already read it or not ya lo leyeron guys yes, yes i did yes, yeah I did. Good job. So in that case, remember, we're kind of a hurry. Yo sé que eso lo podemos hacer más adelante, pero para que nos quede todo claro, for everything to be clear and you don't have any doubt about the, the answers, we're going to answer and we're going to focus on the answers, okay? Yo sé que eso ya lo leyeron, lo podemos ver. We can watch the video later if you haven't, but you have it there. So you can watch it at any time. So we just do the knowledge check, okay? So this is very easy. Can somebody read for me and help me with the answer? Me, I can try. Yes, Jonathan, please read, please. In instructions, right? Yeah, instructions, based, based on, based on. Aquí arrastramos la D con la O, mire, based on. Okay, instruction, based on. I cannot see the article on apps, section one and 12. Answer the following questions. Okay, According one to... point, el punto is 1.12. Okay, and remember this is plural, so we say instructions, instructions. Okay, Instruction. continue please, number one. Okay, According to the article, what are some common uses of, of apps? Um, in my case, I answered um, find a new restaurant, uh, check the water, and, and check look, the weather. Weather. Look, mm -hmm. uh, those three. And look at the restaurant menu. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, good. Let's see the second, number two. Um, Hold on, Jonathan. Is there somebody else who wants to read this? At a time in which the article was written, written was written that was true about the app Angry Birds. What uh, was true about the Angry Birds? Uh -huh. Remember, that's a question. Aquí tenemos el, el signo de interrogación. We have the question mark, so make a question. Otra vez, again. Question mark, remember, it's a question, so make the intonation at the end. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. At a time in which the article was written, that was true about the app Angry Birds. Okay. Uh, we say angry and we say what was, okay? Okay. At the time in which the article, you can say article perfectly, no problem. But most of the time you will see that the R and T are like mute. So you say article, article. Okay. Después de la R, la T, en general, para los americanos, they probably say article. Mm -hmm. But British, como los, los británicos, igual van a decir article. Pero aquí es generalmente... Como los Americans say, they say article, written, what, okay? Article. Yeah, repeat it, please. Article. Please, please article. each All right, so we don't say article, right? We say article, say right? what? <laughs> hey, all right, so we have, we have a, an American there, so he can prove that we don't say article, but we say article, right? Article. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I know Brandy's learning from the first hand, you know. <laughs> so written, written, written. All right. So what would be the answer? Thank you. Thank you, Brandy's uh, husband. <laughs> it has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. All right. And the other one, is there any other? Uh, no, teacher. It's just that's one. That's it? Okay. Yeah. Number three. It's just one. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. One. What about number three, guys? 
the article were up so popular? Okay, why are apps so popular? All right. What would be the answer? The first one. First. Apps okay. are popular because uh, they can be used almost anywhere. Use, all right, used. No, you said guys, right? Guys, thank you. So we have the answers there. Let's continue with the section two and then you will be done. Click, click. Click, click. Yeah, it's the platform that it doesn't work. I know. So try to send some suggestions, guys, to their um, to the group because yeah, it bothers me with the platform it doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good example, right? Ricardo. Yeah, good example. Uh -huh. yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, Dark form okay. was like that the whole day. The whole day, yeah. yeah I've been trying to day. to see most most of the videos, but yeah, ah, I've been having. I thought it was a problem with my cell phone because of my data, but I don't. Oh. Yeah, I I don't see the difference right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, but it's up low, it's loading right now. So I hope that we can finish the, the exercises. Remember, you can watch the videos later. And yeah, we will just answer the, the exercises that are pending so you can finish the exercises because we should have done this on Friday, right? But you know, we have day off on Friday. Hmm. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to text. Hmm. Hey, thanks, Brandy. By the way, you, you sent the answers already. So thank you. It's a pleasure, teacher. Thank you. All right, 2.0. So help me with the, um, Raul, help me with the instructions or the lesson objective, please. Can you read it? Uh, okay, teacher. Uh... Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn about the best job based on personality types. All right. Based on, all right, repeat. The best jobs based on, based on. Aquí, we don't pronounce the ED here. We just pronounce the based and the D at the end. Okay, repeat it, please. Learn about, um, learn about, learn about. Learn about. Learn about by the end of this class, you will learn about the best job based on personality types. All right, based the, 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 the. everybody repeat based on, based on, based on, based, based, based on the personality based types. On. All right, so let's see number. 2.1, as you see, it's loading and loading and loading. But yeah, it's here. Personality types. Help me read Jancy Sarai. Hey, teacher. Watch the video below and say not of the different Take. personality. Take. Mm. Take. Take. Take, take note. Take note. Take note on the different personality tips. Types. 
types as well as the jobs that suited for each sweet. personality. Best sweet, sweet. Oh, switch for each person. Espérame, espérame. Ahí es suit, suit. Sorry. Ah, okay. Suit. Suit. Ajá. Suit. Suit for each personality. Okay. After watching the video below, write in the dis discussion. Discussion forum what personality type you are and what type of job you do thank you type at the end type type type, type. type. again type do it type yeah at the end remember the p if you say tie that's a corbata all right so type okay okay so we're not gonna watch the video right now because we will have time later, so we will do the lesson objective. And you know, guys, you can watch the video anytime you want. So help me read, Flor. What's the other objective for section 2.2? By the end of this class, participants will learn how to use gerund phrases as subjects and objects. Okay, guys, what's a subject? I know you have probably watched the video, but I would like to know if you understand what a, a subject is. Mm -hmm. Subject is the word or something or a noun that makes the action in a sentence. For example, I can say, <laughs> okay, I can say, hmm, fitting people, it's really nice. Or fitting dogs is really interesting or very satisfying. That's a gerund. What's a gerund, guys? Remember? Fitting Brandy, it's very relaxing, like. <laughs> Okay, or taking notes is something important in the class. Listening to the teacher sometimes helps me. Uh, watching movies makes me feel nervous, makes me practice English. What is a gerund here? It's a verb. It's a verb with the ing and Exactly. It's a verb. But in this case, the verb, it's a gerund and acts as a subject. For example, as you see, hmm, texting my daughter makes me feel happy. Texting or oh, calling my daughter is super nice for me or to me. So oh. you see a verb plus ing. Okay. That's a gerund and it works as a subject. Because that's the, the action that makes actually what you're talking about, okay? The subject is someone or something that you're talking about. And that, that is like the, ma the main thing, the most important thing in the, in the sentence. The object is the one who receives the action, who you're talking about, right? Okay, so I know the video is too long. It's about seven or eight seconds, um, I mean, minutes, super long. Have you watched the video already? Yes. Yes. Okay, so in that case, Definitely. we can continue with the knowledge check, okay? Okay. What would be the answer here? Remember, Take. it's a verb with the ing. Taking, right? Taking, Taking care of children. Taking care, care of children. Must be very children. 
be very challenging. Must be very challenging. Next, number two. Working on a movie. Working on a movie. Sounds fascinating. That sounds fascinating. Sounds fascinating. Fascinating. Name it. I pronounce this fascinating. As your husband. <laughs> fascinating. For me, it's ing, not fascinated. All right. You're not talking about the way you feel, it's the way that something is. All right. Fascinating. All right. Then, number three. Making a living as an artist will be pretty difficult. All right. So we copy this. Pretty difficult. Pretty difficult, yes. Okay. We'll add the period just in case. Number four. you're breaking up I'm gonna turn on the camera for a while because I know my internet is not like as good as I wish yeah Carla yeah, you say mention having issue with the internet okay okay I know it's probably my internet guys but sorry okay so number four what would be the answer here working as an architect, working as an architect. Sounds, interesting. sounds interesting Interesting. Sounds interesting. All right. Interesting or interesting. All right. Working. Sounds. Let me know if there's a mistake here, guys. Uh, you have double space between architect and... I think this is the one. What about the other one here, you say, Brandy? No, what's the last one? That, that's a, that's correct right now. Then, on the first on one. On the first one, let me see. You have yeah. It... Children, no children. Oh, thank you. Children. Okay. Number two, movie set sounds. Sounds. So movie. that means. Movies. Uh -huh. yes. Movie set? Movie set, yes. Okay. Thank you. you see, guys, those are the mistakes that you'll probably make, and you will see, like, oh my God, what's going on? So, yeah, now you know. Okay. Please make sure you have it the correct way. Next. Help me read. Oh, no, no. Who's Marina? Read, please. Carla, go. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use adjectives and nouns to make comparison. Thank you. Nice pronunciation. All right. So, okay, guys, in this case, I'm going to open like a very um, uh, word pad so I can explain a little bit about comparisons. 
what comparison means is when you are actually saying that something is a little bit more or less than something else. For example, you can say, I am short, but this is an adjective. So you add the ER to talk about or to make Shorter. it. Mm -hmm. An adverb. To Shorter, yeah, you. you put an, um, an, ad an adjective actually that describes something, but you add the ER to make it comp uh, comparative. Okay, I'm shorter than Brandy. That that means that I am small. That's right. Mm -hmm. I know you're very tall, Brandy. Okay, uh, I'm shorter than Brandy. Or you can say, as as. Example, I am. In this case, if you use as, I don't know if you can see it right now. Sorry. Yeah. You can use uh, as, as to talk about comparisons as well. So for example, I'm smart, I am, and then you say as smart as, um, as my teacher. Okay. I'm as smart as, as my students. Okay, you're comparing, you're comparing, yo soy tanto, o tan inteligente, then you use a regular adjective. Aquí solo ocupamos un adjetivo normal. Ok, si ocupamos as, as, ok, aquí ocupamos un adjetivo sin, digamos, we don't change it, we don't modify it. Ok, what was another comparison that we use? ¿Qué otra comparación se acuerdan que vieron en el video? What another the, um, comparison did you see in the video? Not as, también. What else? As much. Ah, very good. As much as. Dan, yes, Dan. Dan, ¿verdad? Ahí ponemos more than. In this case, obviously, in this case, we say, um, ¿Cuándo ocupamos than, guys? When, when do we use more? Very. When. ¿Por qué ocupamos when. shorter, smarter? The only, when. Only. Yes, Jonathan? Uh, also, less. Yeah, instead of say more, the opposite less. would be less than. Yeah, less than. Yeah, that's another comparison. Yeah, Better than. Better than. Worse than. Better or worse. Yeah. Esos son los que son eh, re irregular. Son los adjetivos irregulares. Ok. Pero normalmente otros adjetivos. ¿Cuáles son los verbos? Perdón. Adjetivos irregulares. We say good. Ahí lo decimos better. Si decimos bad. Decimos worse. Si decimos far. Decimos uh, further y así sucesivamente. Son irregular adjectives. Okay? Normalmente los adjetivos, when we are doing comparisons, are like this. Uh, we say normally if there are like one structure, I mean one sentence, syllable. Si sí, son de una sílaba, ahí sí, ¿verdad? De una sílaba, entonces todas, todas simplemente se le agrega. We, we add the ER, ¿ok? But if we have, uh, what about happy? Happier. Happier. We change the, J, the Y for the IER, ¿verdad? Cambiamos la Y and we put the, um, the I, the Latin I, and ER as well. Solo le cambiamos la Y, ¿ok? But in general, guys, we normally say for more than two syllables que no terminen con Y, ahí si le agregamos entonces solo el... More. More, more. yeah. Example. Or ER. ER, yeah. as I mentioned before, ¿ok? The... the 
like the most common rule is we just add sorry i need to work on the camera and then vaya tenemos short another um another adjective that is just one syllable guys tall small tell me more large hi sorry what is another ugly <laughs> no ugly ya comienza okay. con con el en, en este caso aquí tenemos la primera como la primera eh, um, Um, sorry. No. Big. No. no. Yeah. Big. Esa es como the first category, como la primera categoría. Esta entra como la segunda, the second category. Y el tercero es cuando le ponemos more. Esa es como otra categoría. Okay. This is, these are the three comparison ways we have. Another sub, another adjective, guys. Uh, big. Oh, thank you. Big, también. Big, thank you. Another, etc. Cualquiera que sea chiquitito de una sola sílaba. Vea, aquí we just add the er. Solo le agregamos la er y ya estamos haciendo el comparison. Ok. Por ejemplo, I'm bigger than. Soy más grande que. Obviamente, aquí tenemos que saber que todas las verbos o. Oh, Adjetivos, etcétera, uh, todas palabras. To add the word Ajá, tenemos. Y yeah, exactly, exactly. Y también, si vemos una palabra que tiene, pues, una vocal en medio de dos consonantes, por ejemplo, big, pues entonces le vamos a doblear esto. Ok, we double the G in this case. Bigger. Y obviamente, we add then. Of course, we, we add then. I'm shorter than, I'm bigger than, I'm smaller than, etc., etc., etc. And then, pone un nombre. Dígame, Jansi, tell me. Um, um, maybe bad and good is are an exception, right? There are exceptions. Yeah, yeah because uh, they're, they're all um, known as irregular adjectives. Ya, yeah, es it, aquí le pongo estos tres, pero hay más, ¿ok? Eh, yo creo que ahorita el punto es más terminar el ejemplo o oh, esto, ¿ok? This is the most important. At this time, esto es lo único que ahorita nos está importando terminar. Eh, thank you, Jancy. We just need to finish the, the knowledge check. Nos falta dos, dos, nada más, vea. But we can watch these videos and we can talk about the comparisons later, okay? So uh, right now, we just need to do the knowledge check and then we continue with the other explanations. So tell me, guys, what's the answer here? Complete the sentence using the working parenthesis. ¿Cuál es la par el paréntesis? Aquí está. Ve. Paid. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a ocupar aquí? Ahí está. Eh, an interior. And is singular. So, for this is is, right? That's the example. So, for comparisons in number, uh, number one, what's the answer? A secret agent. Uh -huh. uh, travels more. Travels, travels more, more than. More All than. right. Travels more than a police, a police officer. More okay. than. Sorry, teacher. More than. More oh, than. sorry. So this is oh, the yeah, one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sulban. All right. Number two. Help me, someone. Uh, an air traffic controller job. Controllers, controllers a, an air traffic controller's job is less artistic than a TV director job. All right, director or directors? Directors job. 
director. You can say director or directors. Well, you you see people say directors, but they are like more uh, British. Americans say directors. All right. So number three, guys, can you help me? Landscapers have less education than veterinarians. All right. Have less education then. All right. Thank you. What about number four? Working as a comedian. Uh, uh -huh. mm, is harder than being. All right. Remember, guys, always then, then, right? When we're doing comparison, we all we use then most of the time if we don't use as as, right? If we don't use this. If you don't use this expression. Okay, you can watch the video for better explanation. Okay, aerobics, help me with number five. Aerobics instructors. Uh -huh. instructors. 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 Earn less. Earn less. Early. No, 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 no. At the end, earn. earn. Everybody earn. repeat it, guys. Earn. 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 Yeah, earn. como van a decir Ernesto, right? Earn. No, no. At the end. No solo er. Earn. Earn less than uh, soccer coaches. Earn less than, all right? Coaches. Good. And then we have the other... Lesson objective, help me read. Ever, are you there? One, two, three, four, five. No, it's not there. Amanda, can you read for me this lesson objective, please? One, two, three, four, five. Amanda, thank you. Um, mm. I can help you if you want. Okay. By the end of this class, you will be develop the skill and listening to the scratch descriptions. Mm -hmm. Me agregó el B aquí, pero no. Eh, okay, by the end of this class, you will develop skills. Oh, again, develop skills together, guys. Develop skills. No develop, develop skills. skill. Remember, we don't have a knee here. Aquí hay una e tacita, no, verdad? No, guys. Si simplemente es develop skills. Develop skills in listening. Again, everybody, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. Come on. By the end, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to the descriptions. Good job. Develop skills in. Develop skills in. ¿Cómo no podríamos pronunciar todo? Eso, gracias. Póngale mute porque se oye un poquito raro ahí. Develop skills. Skilling. Skillsing. Ajá, así sería, ahí sería así. Develop skillsing. Develop skillsing. Así. Develop skillsing. ¿Ya? Una sola palabra hacemos ahí. Develop skillsing. Everybody? Develop skills. Develop skills. Exactly. No hagan el espacio entre ellas, sino que háganlo de un solo, de corridito. ¿Cómo decimos? Hey, ¿cómo estás? No decimos cómo estás. Decimos cómo. Hasta decimos como una u ahí, ¿sí o no? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué ondas? ¿Qué ondas? No decimos qué ondas. A veces sí, pero decimos qué ondas. Si se fijan, ¿verdad? hacemos un un solo mix entre las palabras. So that's the way that people or American or any native people speak. Okay. So listening. 12.10 summer jobs. So we need to listen this. Y después, eso sí, tenemos que ver el video para poder responderlas. Así que let's watch it, guys. Y después me dicen las respuestas, please. Okay, go. Let me know if you can hear. Mm, no, no, este solo. 
Yes, we need to watch that video and then get the answers from that video. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. Sorry. Vaya, pues, a las, a las y punto me tengo que retirar, chicos, because I have another class. But we can watch the video. I hope that it's not that long. It's like two minutes. Yeah, ago. no, 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 it's, it's not this one. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's too long. It's the last one. The last one. Yeah, that one. Oh, that okay. One. Yeah. Vaya, dele pues. Listen and pay and tell me the answers in a moment. Let me know if you can hear, please. Right now, no, teacher. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's two minutes only. Two minutes long. Oh, no, no, let no, me see. No, 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 no. no, no. After listening to... The now, yeah. can you? Yeah, now, yes. Hi, everybody. All right, good. With the end of this class, you That's the last part of the class, guys. Listening to the scriptures. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete a quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too, since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah. But I work from 2 in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. All right. So tell me, number one, I need a person who hasn't read today. Um, mm, mm. Casi todos, eh, yeah, everybody participated today. Help me with number one. Um, Ever. One, two, three. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, read and tell yeah. me the answer, please. Yeah, what kind of job does Carlos do? Uh -huh. uh, tutor, kid, tutor for kids. Tutor for kids. Okay. Tutor. What number? Number two, Vanessa. What? Let me see. All right, let's see the options. Uh, the option is... Option? To, to, uh, to, to talk for kids. Again, the same? No, no right. We cannot repeat no, it. Thank uh, you. Jancy. Uh, Jancy, can you read it for me? You're the only Jancy here. Andrea. 
Oh, okay. What kind of job does Julia do? Mm -hmm. um, I think chef assistant. The chef assistant? Mm, no. No, 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 that was a man, right? Telemarketing um, agent. Telemarketing agent. Guys, I have to go, so let's do it quickly, okay? What kind of job does Paul do? Ernesto. Chef assistant. Sorry. Thank He's you. All right. And the last one, everybody tell me. Why, uh, oh, who doesn't Paula like? Paul doesn't like his job. All right. So we finished the session two, guys, and we continue tomorrow. Okay. See you okay. tomorrow. Bye bye. 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 Sí, sí, ahorita no, ahorita sigue. Sí, ahorita. Espérame, no puedo comenzar. Ya, a las 10 termino, ya te dije. Sí, ponelo, no hay problema. Un poquito suave nomás. No, un poquito suave, ponela. Ajá. Hi. <laughs>